Hi guys, I'm Grumpy Rabbit for Meat. You can call me GR, Grumpy Rabbit, or Renee. So, I found this fun little horror game called Skinwalkers on RPG Maker Network. It's... so far the information I found on it was it was developed by Snow Owl, and who also did Misery and Afterman. So, this is a little short one that I decided to do before I put up the uh, second Vacant Sky Volume 1 Contention Part 2 up, just so you guys have something to look at and see I've been away on a camping trip for a couple of days so I didn't really have time to put up the second part but anyways here we go the following story really happened I saw it with my own eyes maybe it didn't happen as I saw it but more on that later we we're all going out camping me and three friends from university let me introduce my friends This is Darren. I wouldn't say that he is our group of leaders, friend. Or actually, I would. He's the one that always gets us all out of the house and into the action. He's the first one to hit on that cute girl by the bar. He's the first one to jump from the roof into the swimming pool. According to himself, he was even more impulsive when he was a kid. I can only imagine his childhood and how often he must have broken his leg, scraped his knee, and hit his head. Still, if it weren't for Darren, we wouldn't have half the amount of fun we have. This girl is Celeste. We have known each other since we were children. We met each other when she moved to the house next door when I was seven. My mom told me to go show her around the neighborhood, and after that we were inseparable for a few years. She's a nice girl, although her health isn't the best. She's some kind of heart problem, which I forgot the name of. Jeez, she's a great friend and can't remember what, what's her condition. Huh. This forced her to be away from school during extended periods of time during her childhood. Because of this, until we started university, I was her only friend. Still, she never complained, and I've always seen her as a positive, happy girl. Next is me. I'm Joe. As the name implies, I'm pretty normal. I don't have any overwhelming characteristics, or I don't have any overwhelming bad characteristics, or overwhelmingly good characteristics. I'm normal. That's what it just said, by the way. Um, I live in this apartment a short walk from my university. This is where us four friends usually gather before going out. Let's just think what I said. Huh. This guy here looking all relaxed on my bed is Michael. He's my neighbor, living in the apartment next door. One day, while I had Celeste over, he just barged in. Hey man, your place looks pretty nice. Mind if I join you for dinner, he said. As you can imagine, he's pretty pushy. I don't think he realizes it himself. He came over several times after that day. After that, we somehow naturally became friends. So one day, Darren came with the idea that we should go camping. Oh, God, those are scary trees. Darren said his family had a cabin a little bit into the forest. So camping we went. It could be fun, right? Of course, me, Michael, and Celeste just liked the idea of staying in a cabin. It's a camping trip. We have to sleep in the wilderness. So Darren told us about the woods near the cabin. I don't remember much about the trip to the cabin. We joked around, took a few breaks, normal stuff. Either way, we drove up the canyon and left the car there. We took a short break in the cabin and set out into the wilderness. We went pretty far in. I can't say how far in distance exactly, but it took several hours to get to where we set up camp. The first day, we just screwed around. Nothing abnormal happened. But then... Okay, guys, so we're playing as Joe, and... This is uh, actually pretty short one from what I can tell in terms of other RPGs and when I did a test through of this I did the bad ending which I'll get to later on certain choices I made but for now we're gonna try this way okay so shift to run spacebar or Z as the action key we need water wood and water. I set out to gather wood for a new fire and water to cook with. So, rather than actually have to go out and get them, what they do is just show the piles of wood disappear.
Oh, shift, that's right. I don't like going slow in these games. It's kind of not fun. The sound stopped. Personally, I think you should just rush into it most of the time. Just, it's so much harder when you have to sneak around. Later that evening. Oh, I think we can move here. Okay, let's see. It's time to go to sleep soon. We're all out of booze. <laughs> As we have to go back to, to town tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to that four-hour trek. Maybe we shouldn't have gone so deep in. <laughs> Who goes four hours out of the way from a cabin? Oh, I guess it's sort of a safe point. Anyways. Hey, anyone else hear that sound? Yeah, now that you mention it, what is that? Sounds like something metally. Metally? <laughs> is that even a word? Are you stupid? Shut up, asshole. It's a word if I say so. It stopped. Maybe it was some kind of machine. Who thought would go out hours from the nearest civilization in the middle of the night and start revving up some kind of weird machine? Who gives a shit? It's probably someone using a chainsaw or something. Let's go to sleep. I'm tired. I'm sure that was no chainsaw. I wonder what it was. So, we're gonna go to sleep. Sleepiness soon overtook everyone. Something woke me up for a few hours later, in your half-wake state. You stumbled outside the tent. Why does it switch from first person to second person? Oh, god, this is going to be creepy. Darren, Michael, Celeste, is that you? The mist is even thicker before than before. I can't see much. Oh, god, I hate that noise. Okay, we're gonna go back inside and oh I'm trying not to ruin it. Hey, wake up, there's something outside the tent. Ugh, what? Ugh, I'm sure there is lots of squirrels and shit. Go back to sleep. Hey, is Michael here? Yeah, I'm here. Why wouldn't I be? I don't know, the thing outside looked like you. It was probably some animal. I don't think we have to worry about a fox or whatever. Take it easy and go back to bed. Well, alright then. Maybe it was just some animal. But those noises, or sounds. Sorry, just a sec, guys. Okay, got everything situated. A few minutes later. Oh, that still gave me shivers. Okay, drop it. Whatever that, whoever that is, I want to sleep already. It wasn't me. Me neither. That didn't sound like any of our voices. Shit, now I'm never going to be able to sleep. Should we go outside and look? What if it's some crazy psycho with an axe? All the more reason to check it out. It's not like the tent is some impenetrable, impenetrable fortress. Seriously, if that was one of you guys, tell me right now. They, this ain't funny anymore. Okay, everyone get out together and check it out. I ain't going alone. Okay. Oh, that noise again. 